Welcome back to video number three on the uh, uh, Fahrenheit uh, the temp converter. <clears throat> One of the things that had changed is, and there will be a couple other things that have to change as they're thinking about it. We have two different um, text views, so I had to change this to show result text view. Before I had just text view, and that wouldn't have been what we were looking for. Um, another thing I was thinking uh, is um, think about um, when the end user enters in a value for temperature. So they need to go to convert something, and something I didn't think about it is say they do 14.5 or 13.3, whatever the case is. That's But the problem with that is we're using integers, and that's going to cause a problem because then it's not going to know how to convert it, and it's going to just go to a whole number to the nearest tenth. So in this case, we need to convert these to doubles. So we need to make some changes to our code. So for example, down here, we need to make this a double. And then we need to make this a double and accept a double. Um, same thing here, double. And this will be a double. And now I need to go up here and make some changes and find locations that I had entered double information in or, or information that should be integer. So we're going to make this a double. And we're going to make this double. And we're going to change that to parse double. All right, what did I do wrong there? All right, so this is not working. Uh, let me think. Let's make this an uppercase. Uh, but, uh, see, stupid. All right, so that'll work. Everything's so case sensitive, so make that a double. Uh, let's see here. Let's scroll down here. Same thing here, double, um, double, and then we'll change that to double. Okay. I think that's all we have here. Um, let's see here. Scroll to, yeah, so that right there will fix the problems that we have with the double issue. So now we should be able to use double instead of uh, uh, integer. All right, so now let's do the Fahrenheit formulas as well. So let's add that information here. Um, information I got from Google. We'll do uh, cell. Well, actually, what is that? It should be cell. That's not a good way of doing it. But anyways, it's cell equals Fahrenheit. Right, yep, equals 32 times 5 ninths from Fahrenheit to Celsius. All right. Now let's do the same thing down here. Oops. And we'll say Fahrenheit equals Celsius times nine fifths over five plus thirty two from Celsius to Fahrenheit. All right, so that'll be our formula that we're going to use. Start let's start here. All right, so let's do um, double result cell. And we'll do result cell equals parentheses. We'll do Fahrenheit far value, far val that we have at the top. Do far val minus 32. Put that in parentheses. Now we'll multiply that. We'll do it times. By ninths, and we'll change this return to return result cell. So let's see what we're doing here, real quick. So we do a double result cell, that's what we call our double. Result cell equals the far value that we have right here from the value that's being passed in. We 
minus with the 32 um, up here I have equals I mean minus I don't know how to write equals from minus I think I did that over here as well um, all right so we have minus 32 times 5 ninths it gives us a value and then we return that value right there if that makes sense all right so now let's do the same thing down here we need to do a double we'll call it result um, bar I guess all right and then we'll do result bar equals and this time we will do cell val and we'll take cell val times nine fifths and we have that in parentheses which is fine and then we'll add 32 based off the formula above and then let's do this we want to return that value result bar and same thing here we're just taking this formula and putting it down here so that way when they enter their information into the computer or into the app it convert it converts it and comes down here and does a calculation for us all right so now we come back up to the set on listener and we're going to add some information up here as well so we already have the double in edit text up here we're going to do is we're going to set up a double converted val equals convert to cell celsius and then parentheses what we want to have here is we want to have our in edit text right here all right and the next thing we want to do is we want to do show temp view dot set text oops something here. all right so we have a problem here it's not recognizing it so that's that's good so what we need to do here is we need to add a string uh, capture our value. So if we do say string string result um, equals string dot value of, and then in the value of we want to have converted value. So that's our value up here. I'll show you what we're grabbing. Oops, we're grabbing this guy right here is our converted value. So now it's converting our double and it's able to take the double and convert it into a string is what we want. And then let's make a line here. And what we should be able to do is we should be able to say show temp text view dot set. Not sure why that's not coming up. Text and string result. And should be able to do that right there. Okay. Not result method java dot lang dot string. So are we missing a call somewhere? Hmm. So we have this problem here. I added the java.lang, so we don't need that. So I'm going to take that out. Something is off there. What did I do wrong? All right, so when I type in show, show temp and it doesn't pull up text, hold on. All right, so this guy right here is wrong too. It cannot resolve. Ah, oh, see, it's always something simple. I didn't put it in exactly, and see, that's the thing I never really liked about Java is it's so case sensitive. It has to be exact, or it doesn't know what to do with it. Whereas if you use other languages, like the beginning when I learned VB.net or PHP or whatever, and they're not, they're not like that. But C Sharp is the same way. So now, this guy should not be a problem. Let's see here if it comes up. Oh, there we go. Syntax. All right. So that's exactly what we're looking for. Now I'll grab that value. Uh, let's see if it runs. I'll pause it and I'll start it once my emulator starts because it takes a while sometimes. All right, we're back. So I, as you see, I have the emulator up. It has temp converter. Um, I entered 44.4 and converted it. Let's just enter 13.5 uh, and hit Celsius. Now here's the problem is, it's giving me these leading numbers to the side here. So we're gonna to wanna to change that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, so if I do 13 Celsius, let's see here. Just kinda of playing around with it. 37.7, so we are gonna to wanna to change it to a whole number versus, well, at least 37.77 for example, or 78, but we don't want to um, have these leading 
numbers be behind it. So I'm gonna we're gonna work on that here next. All right. So what we need to do here is we need to add a there's a class that we could use to formats um, the values properly. So something to format our our double basically. So we'll do a decimal a decimal format uh, round equals new decimal format. We'll do zero dot zero. Oops, close it. Hopefully, we must have something wrong here. I didn't recognize it today. Entered in wrong. It's D E C I M A L format round. I uh, see. I didn't enter in right. Oh, I don't know what to say about that. Um, so we have that up there, we call it round. Now we want to come down here, Let's see where I want to round it off at. Let's see here, what are we at? We want to, it's going to be our else statement. So we call our, well, let's see, I string result here, we're going to want to do it here. We're going to change this around a little bit. So where we have value of, um, we want to get in here this value because this is the value it's getting. We want to type around, which is the and why we put it at the top there, it'll allow us to use it anywhere on a page. So we use format and then we'll do parentheses. We should have another parentheses there. This right here should convert it properly. Let's see if we can run it again if it works. Yes. All right, so let's enter 44 in. Revert C. There we go. That is what we wanted it to do. We wanted to make sure that we had just one decimal versus multiple decimals. So if we had 100 before we had a bunch of numbers, 37.8. So that's exactly what we want. We want it to be one double um, versus other doubles. Now what you could do is, in that format, is if you wanted to add extra zeros, you could add another zero here for that format so that you get a, a, a two digits to your right. But um, in this case, I think we just need one decimal to show what we're trying to accomplish here. And that would be as we have over here, pretty simple stuff. All right, so now we're back. Um, what I did is here is added a C right here because um, we want to make sure that when we run this, we want it should have it say 37.8 C for Celsius and so forth. And we'll run it the next time around, but right now we're going to go down here and program the next button, which is the Fahrenheit button. So we could basically grab the same values that we have up here and use it down here, which a lot of, can, let me make the screen a little bit bigger. So I can look what I have up here and make life a lot easier. So we have int, so we can come up here and pretty much type the same thing. We'll do double, call it convert it. Spell bow equals convert to Fahrenheit this time, and we'll do the in edit text, and we'll do we'll come um, we'll do the same thing. We call it string result equals string dot value of round. Use our round method that we had format, and then. Uh, if we already have that in there, convert it value. Oh, we might have too many of these guys here. We only need two of them. Okay, yep. All right, all right, doesn't like something. String result is never used. Okay, that's fine, we'll use it. Equal string dot value. All right, use too many. It's just when you start typing stuff, everything wants to come out and do their own thing. That's fine. Then we could should be able to do show temp text dot set text. Grab our value that is said that we're not using. String result here. And we're gonna do the same thing we did there. We're gonna do a plus and we're gonna do an F for Fahrenheit. And we need to remove one of those guys there. And that should be it. Uh, let's see if it works. It, it's too easy, but if 
probably blow up on us. Ah, uh, yes, hit OK. It's apps running. A little slow here. There we go. Let's see if our uh, Celsius part work. Fine. All right, so we do have the C there. That's good. Let's try Fahrenheit and see if it converts it to Celsius. Perfect. But you know what I see here? Is we have this space here. So this is 111.2 Fahrenheit. We're going to want to change that. So let's say I put 76 in here real quick. So what we're going to want to do is come back over here and put that there. Save it. Save all. Let's see if we run it again. Let's see if it fixes it. Okay. Come on, it's a little slow, but it's getting there. All right, so let's enter 75 this time, hit Fahrenheit. There we go, we have to separate it. If we did Celsius, we have C, so that's perfect. That is exactly what we're looking to do right here. Very good. One of the things I did notice here is, um, I meant to point out is we have a blank value. So we, we programmed it to enter a blank value. So let's leave it blank and hit Fahrenheit. And this is what we want to enter a value. Same thing with C. Let's try to make this a little bit larger. So what we're going to do is I have us in the content content area. Let's see if we could do um, Android text. Text size equals, let's do a 29 DP. See if that's big enough. And let's save it. Let's run it again. Yep. Let's see if that works better. Now I do have that mill icon on there. I did not take it off. I just left it on there just to kind of show you how to create the converted temp. All right, so let's do uh, 45, convert it Fahrenheit to Celsius. There you go, much bigger. That's what we're looking for. So it makes it a little bit easier to see because when it's too small, it just makes it very difficult to see. So that right there works. So to kind of summarize this up, this will be our last video for this. I'll also post the source code out there uh, once I have it downloaded here. I'll throw it out in the on the um, Blackboard so if you want to download it as well and see what I have in case you try to run through it and do the same thing. But what's nice about this app is it allows you to give you a basic understanding of Kind of about week four's assignment. So week four's assignment is just showing you how to use buttons, set um, action items to it. You know, it's not all about converting stuff, but you might want to put something there and have it do something. You might want to say um, someone enter a ticket number and enter a price or something like that and do some type of conversion. With this type of calculation, you have a basic understanding of how that does it. You know, you always want to make sure that you're setting up your your instant variables that are able to be used across the board. So anything. In this area, such as we have this round, it allows us to use it anywhere. It's kind of like when you're using a final in, in uh, JavaScript, it allows, or JavaScript, in Java, it allows you to use it anywhere. And then these guys right here, remember this, we're just taking these instant variables and tying them over to our interface. And then this part right here is our on-click listener. Those are just basically um, action events allows us when the user hit, clicks the button, they're able to do something, accomplish something. And remember, you have to right-click, generate, and then choose the um, uh, the right selection. Um, so if I went and right-click right here, and I did the uh, generate, remember, you want to make sure that you choose the override method. So, but in, in other lessons, you'll learn other methods as well. And then down here, we're just doing the we're doing the calculation right here. We're converting it to Celsius, converting it to Fahrenheit. So that way. These guys, even though they get clicked on a button, they need to call somewhere and convert a value, and then that return pulls the value up there. So thank you for your time. I hope that you've learned something in this lesson, and uh, welcome to week four. Thanks.